In today's video, we're starting with a news article from Ars Technica sent to me by my friend Alan Buxton. And uh, there's a lot of good stuff in this. So the title, Poison Expert Allegedly Poisoned Wife with a Shockingly Toxic Gout Drug. So we're not going to focus too much on the drug itself, but basically the details of the case is a Minnesota doctor who worked for poison control used a medication to uh, kill his wife. Uh, you know, via poisoning her through this uh, drug used to treat gout. Now we're gonna skip some of the uh, the drug related. They talk about what happens. We're digital forensics, all right. So we're gonna go on past that to damning internet history. So this is kind of funny in that um so they look at connor's web history and on august 10th bowman was converting betty's weight to kilograms and multiplying it by 0.8 to get the lethal dose that he would have to use to kill her with uh also he searched internet browsing history can it be used in court spoiler alert yes it can we're going to show you how you can look at internet browsing history here in a second also delete amazon data police and then my favorite, he tried using a VPN, uh, but mistyped it as BPN. But the answer to Connor's question of can internet browser history be used in court is yes. And so let's take a look at that. There's actually two different ways we can look at it in FTK. So first off, we'll start in core view. If you come over to the internet tab, and select that, you can come down to internet and chat history. Notice we break it out into Chromium Browsers Edge, um, which is also Chromium, but um, we do support the Legacy Edge as well. Of course, Internet Explorer, if you still come across that, but also Mozilla and uh, Safari, etc. So it break it out. And from here, you have your data that's gonna you know, break out history, downloads, searches, cookies, all that sort of stuff, okay? But that's if you want it in court. But let's say we want to view it in the smart view. You can go ahead and click the smart view button here. It's going to open up our smart view. In our case, we're in the main case still. We'll come into artifacts, go down to internet browser history. And in this case, it's going to drop them all into one, which can be advantageous. There's been cases in the past where people have only looked at a certain browser and the evidence that they needed was in another one. And they missed it. Uh, not a good thing. And so this gives you kind of that benefit of saying, hey, I want to look at all the history regardless of where it comes from. And I can just drag this column over here if I want that like that. And we can go through the history and see what we want. I could also increase this out to say 500. And so now um, I, I don't have to toggle the pages very much. I can just scan down and take a look at, you know, what we've got here. If I wanted, I can write a filter. So something like filter contains filter by condition, and we're gonna say contains, and we'll say uh, zoom, you know, I don't know. We'll hit apply, and now we can see, okay, zoom and zoom and all this stuff, login, Google, zoom, you know, whatever. But you could search your stuff that way, and of course you could also search your results using the search. So can web history be used against someone in court? Absolutely it can. FTK can help you find it super quick. Now you might be thinking, hey, I don't have FTK. It's not a problem because you can go over to store.xero.com and pick up FTK. And if you're law enforcement, which, you know, if you're watching this video around this topic, you probably are. I recommend the law enforcement bundle because it comes with some automation stuff that's going to save you a lot of time and comes with training as well. You always want to get that training and you want to make sure you get official training. Hey, my YouTube videos are pretty awesome, I think. Thank you. But you want to visit Sarah Hargreaves and Dan Sumter and the rest of the team at the training department and get proper training and certified because it's going to help you out both in court and, you know, the smarter you are, the better you are and the better off our justice system is and our investigations, regardless of what industry you work in. So thanks for all the work all of you do. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you again in the next one.